Here we have the DS720 Plus by Synology. So here we have the main unit. We'll take this out. Got a quick start guide. Power cord. A couple of ethernet cables here. Keys to lock and unlock the drives. And of course, the power supply. And there she is. You can see here on the back you got the two Ethernet ports, an eSATA, got the power plug, and also a USB 3 port. Then looking at the front of the unit, we also have another USB 3 port, the power button, and then we have the drive caddies here that if we pull up will come right out. Now off to the side here, it looks like you can add some additional RAM to this if you wanted to do so. And it's pretty easy to access as well. Now going on to the bottom. These open up here for you to be able to add M2 SSDs. So you can go ahead and take a NVMe M2 2280 drive and pop that right into here to be able to add SSD caching to this NAS. Next, I've got two Western Digital Red Plus drives. And each one is eight terabytes in size. So in a RAID 1 configuration, because it would be mirroring the data from one drive to another, it would only give you eight terabytes of usable space with both drives in the NAS. If you did not want any disk redundancy, then you could go ahead and set it up in RAID 0 for performance and it's just going to stripe between the two drives, in which case you would be able to yield approximately 16 terabytes of usable space. Now taking the drive caddy, I'm gonna go ahead and just open up these drives and install them directly into the caddies. Now installation is very simple and toolless. If we look right here on the side, this just pulls right up. Then we go ahead and take the drive right inside here with the SATA interface facing outward, or the back of the caddy. Now we'll go ahead and take these and go ahead and clip them back in. And then I'll go ahead and repeat the process with the second drive next. Now the drives, just go ahead and slide right in like so. Now if we want to go ahead and lock the drives in, we simply just take the keys and then just go ahead and turn it clockwise, and now it is locked. To unlock it, go ahead and put the key back in and turn it counterclockwise, and then you just lift right up. I'll go ahead and lock it again. And there we go. That's it for this video. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and slap that like button and go ahead and click on subscribe if you haven't already. And if you click on that little bell for the notifications, you'll be notified of each of my next releases as they come out. Now, if you really hated this video, I'm sorry, but thank you for making it all the way through this video. I'm gonna show you how to do a mega dislike. And to be able to do a mega dislike, you have to slap dislike twice and then do like three times and then it's mega disliked. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for watching. Should we do it?